Hey guys, what is up? Kai is here. I know it's been a very long time since I have recorded a video. There are a bunch of reasons why. One of them is I was actually kind of sick a um, couple of weeks ago and I felt really like sick. I did do a little short video and or a little short live stream, I don't remember. Another reason is I'm, I'm having severe trouble with my stream software on my old on my um newer computer i have the new computer i have the old computer in my possession so you'll be seeing a lot more videos now um the other major 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 reason is i have not slept very well in the past couple of months there's a lot going on in my life and it is very true if you follow me on instagram by the way link in the description self promo but i mean if you do follow me on instagram you i just recently uploaded a photo yesterday of my dark circles that i've been having and they're getting lighter bubbles uh yeah it's a timeout as you can tell this is the old computer because of the bubbles going up um but yeah you can tell the really they're getting lighter because i am trying to be on my get better on my sleep schedule but I bet I'm on really strong sleep meds. I'm going to doctors for this, and they're all just saying it's because my mind doesn't shut off. I'm even also on a on a sleep on a uh, anxiety pill too, because somebody one of the doctors told me it might be my anxiety, and I don't know about it. And I remember a while ago I did have severe issues with my anxiety to where it made my heart rate go really fast and I couldn't breathe. And then one time it made me uh, have severe stomach issues to wear TMI, yeah. So, we'll talk about that some other day. This is the video everybody's been looking for for a very long time, and it's the MSP backstory. I'm sorry it took so long. Another, this is also a minor reason. I'm swapping computers where my new computer will only be for looking at... Will only be for looking at your videos, commenting on your guys' videos. I do watch them on my TV too, by the way, because I have, I have a Fire Stick. I could watch your guys' videos on my big screen TV. But um, my computer is also for updating my channel and not recording videos. It's only going to be used for those little things. And, of course, playing apps, you know. And on my Discord. Like, you know, that's all for... That computer is for social media purposes only. This computer is strictly for recording and playing wizard 101 and playing msp and that is it and editing but you guys know like this is only this is gonna be my recording and videoing computer the other ones for everything else typing up my stories documents yeah i i have a lot of things i do so the main part is as you all know my user is awesome epic 54328 now I did actually have to contact a crap ton of people to kind of get some ID, like, to, um, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to one person, so here's the very beginning of the story. I was approximately 13 years old, okay? I think it was pretty much, pretty much, it was about a month or two after my mother left my father and then filed for a divorce. The divorce wasn't finalized until that October, so I'd say... The divorce was finalized in 2012. Sorry, I, I forgot to write down all the dates, kind of, or like years. So, excuse me for actually being a little silent. I'm doing the math. Dad and his, my father and his girlfriend have been together for seven years. It's 2019. Yeah, so 2012. In October, the divorce was finalized. Okay, that, that that that's part of personal life. But a couple of in that May, my mother left my father, and then took me with her. Okay, so I was kind of in distress because all my friends were kind of being ripped away from me, or I was being ripped away from my friends. Kind of, you know how that is. So I ha I am actually friends with younger people. Only because I feel like I could be a kid with them and they won't judge me. <laughs> I all some of them also call me a little bit of a role model and I'm laughing, so yeah, because I don't I'm not a role model at all. But one of the little friends, um, she's actually now 14 at this moment, and I've known that kid since she was nine. <laughs> so oh I feel so old. But I'm gonna not gonna say your name. Her I'm going to say, like, an anonymous name just to, you know, be like it. So, her name, she was, she's known as Emma. Okay, her name, her 
name is anonymous, okay? So she's going to be known as Emma through this whole story. Now, Emma played this game. I played this actually a very long time ago when it first came out. And I only played for two months, and I did not like it. I barely played it. The one reason I couldn't play it much is because I had a super old desktop. Oh, and the bird's trying to say hello to you guys, so um, please say hello to the bird in the comments. He likes your comments. Right, bird? Yeah, go scratch your butt. He really does actually scratch his butt sometimes. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, so, I did start... You guys are really ignoring him in these past few videos, kind of, so please, please tell him you love him, or just tell him he's a star or something. But anyway, I played this game when it first came out, and I forgot the year, okay? I was young. I didn't like it for three reasons. The game wasn't that developed enough to where I really got into it. I used an extremely old desktop, so it was really hard to play the game, period. And then I, and then the third reason was, is like, it just wasn't my style back then. So, fast forward to whenever, um, 14, 2012, 13 actually. Emma told me, came over to my house one day, because we hang out at my dad, my father's house sometimes. She brought over her tablet. Cause she, you know, and she's like, oh, there's this cool game called Movie Star Planet. There's an app. And this is back then when the app was first created approximately, or it was only, or the app was around for maybe a couple of years. So yeah, I did my research. So she's like, oh, look, and she's showing, you know, the old app, man. If I had pictures of the old app, you got some of you new players would be like, what the heck is that? So she was showing me on the old app, her character and all. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I like that. So she's like, yeah, I'm like, can you play it on the computer? And she's like, yeah, you can play it on the computer, too. So, guess what? This computer was the first computer I played Movie Star Planet on. And here comes into the photos. One sec. I have a whole bunch of photos, so please do not mind all this. This was my first user ever. He was level 5. He was awesome epic, 54328. Wait. Bird, shut up. It was spelled wrong. And of course I didn't know. By the way, this is my favorite quote back then. Um, he was my favorite first. I actually had a character before him and I forgot his user and I really forgot and I felt so stupid. But back then I really did forget a lot of things. Like I forgot passwords, um, usernames, except for the things I play the most. Like I remembered my Wizard 101 username. Like I, I could literally say it. I could literally type it in with my eyes closed if I knew the keyboard properly. I kind of do sometimes. Um, so, this was my first user, and he was awesome epic, 54328. I'm about to put a little text about, like, right under where it says you're not f yet friends of how I spelled it. So, one day, I'm logging in because I wanted to play. I log it in, and I spell awesome epic, and I'm like, it's not spelled right. Emma lets me, we talk on, um, she just got a phone that, she just got a phone probably that month too. So I text her and she's like, I said, hey, what's my user? And she's like, awesome epic. And I'm like, how do I spell it? I found out I spelled it wrong. I was missing a letter because I typed so fast. And I'm like, oh crap, I'm going to have to make a new one because I'm going to forget. And she's like, that's okay. Is it going to be the same user? I'm like, yeah, but it's going to be spelled right. So then comes oh by the way i i this was you know we just started playing it and i only played on it very rarely it comes to this user ah oh, this user died at level 22 but um this was the original awesome epic and i had really bad style i actually want to tell you these are all the clothes i had with it oh man if i was able to do this uh i had so many rare well actually these aren't all the clothes some of them have been stolen yeah, I had a lot of, oh, sorry. That was actually proof of the um, hacker. This was the hacker, by the way. She's not around anymore. I blocked her on my new account. Then I had to unblock her to find her again. Um, so, yeah, that's part of the, um, yeah, no, I have some stuff. And then I have, you can still access my, my old profile if you, um, 
go under my looks and under of others meaning and if you look and find deleted user and one of them says boy do I miss this account but ACC meaning and I'm trying to find it just to show you. Oh, that's another hacker that hacked Katie a long time ago, so. Here, boy, do I miss this account. A lot of you are going to get mad at me. I had Snow Angel and Exo on that account. And at first I didn't know, know what the frick rare trading was, okay? So don't, don't bother with that. It's a full VIP set. I cannot get the account back. Don't even ask me because I already tried. Um, but anyway, through the whole process, we're going to fast forward it to, because, you know, I play, I have friends, you know. Um, fast forwarding into a couple of months after I made this account, meaning this awesome epic. I had a friend, and I'm not going to say her name either, because I don't know her real name. Um, we called her Bree. She knew me from the, this account. But she was looking me up, and she doesn't. She didn't know how to spell very well. So you know, then she searched up this and says, "I found you with the same status." Because back then I put this on all my stuff, and on the same on the same status, and um, you know, and saying you're, and, and it's like you know, she was just telling me that you know, there's another account that looks exactly like you with the same exact status and the same style, and I'm like, oh, that's an old account I meant to delete. I quit that one because I spelled it wrong, and she kept, you know, she was one of those obsessive people that was afraid of losing me. This was a long time ago. She kept saying, oh, no, you're doing it to talk to other people, and then you're going to, like, because she thought I actually loved her when I really didn't. I was still a little, you know, a little dragon playing MSP, so yeah. So she was all like, you're doing it to talk to other girls behind my back. I hate you, and I'm like, I haven't touched that account in almost a year I think then so I cuz and then I told her I don't know how, and then she's like delete it to prove it and I'm like how do I delete an account so then she walked me through how to delete an account so I knew how to delete an account thank you to that obsessive biatch excuse my language but she was one and she still is she still plays very very rarely but um yeah so <laughs> Then I deleted that, and then she's like, good, you finally proved it. Well, I wanted to delete the account anyway, because I didn't want ac people to actually try to get to me. So, my dad buys me VIP, because, you know, at the time, I didn't have a card. I wasn't old enough to have one. And it was, I think, my birthday or something. And what normally, this is what I do with my dad. If I get gift cards or, um... What else? Gift cards and money cards and stuff, since money cards don't actually work online with, um, you know, these types of games, especially if it's renewable um, membership meeting, like Wizard 101, and sometimes MSP if it renews itself. So, what I do with my dad is I give him the gift card, and I say, I want something of equal value to this gift card. Now, it could be um, membership to a game. It could be something that's not from the store of the gift card, but from a different store. Or it could just be cash. You know, it depends. And we still do this nowadays. When I get gift cards to stores I know I never shop at or I barely shop at, I give it to him of equal value. And he either gives me money or he gives me a gift card for the stores I normally shop at or just buys me something. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. So, he bought me VIP on... Where is it? This account. And this was back then when only the lips were good and this nose was there. You know, the eye, the other eyes that I wear now, I never liked. When I kept looking at them, it made me look like I had thick eyeliner and I looked like a, you know, an e every emo kid ever <laughs> kind of thing. So, it's not like against that. I'm actually really supportive of those people. But at the time, it didn't look like me. So... I stopped, you know, I, I like these eyes. Yeah, these are the new eyes. They also kind of look like my eyes because my eyes are known as lazy eyes, according to the doctors, that they don't open all the way. They're actually pretty, like, they're half closed. So that's an issue with me. So that's one of the reasons why this account, yeah. So after a couple of weeks, you know, I was at VIP, and it ended 
you know, and then he bought, he had some issues with MSP, they, um, kept de declining his card, and then he was like, screw it, and I'm like, wait, contact them, and, you know, show them pictures of it, so he did, and MSP gave me a free two-week, uh, free one month VIP and this was back then before star VIP was even invented kind of they had regular VIP super VIP and elite VIP now very few people know when there was just VIP and no like extra packages meaning so that was one part so he got me so they gave me a free month elite VIP for the issue and reimbursed my father so then afterwards, he says, okay, it's working now, I'll get you another year. And, I, and then he started having issues with the year. And I think it was because, you know, MSP's in Denmark, you know, not where here in the U.S., so banks think it's fraud. So he calls the bank, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then, he, then the bank lets him through it, but it's still not letting him. So he gets me a year VIP. He gets me three months. So I only had about four months of VIP at the moment. And then it gets to the point where... In time in my life, I was becoming bad. Um, only a few people knew this. I did take my father's credit card and use it for games and stuff I wanted, meaning. Because I was desperate for money. My mother would never let me get a job. She said I was too mentally unstable. And she also never wanted me to, she, since I never drove because I was still too young to drive, she wouldn't take me to my job unless, you know, it was on her own time. And she wouldn't let me take the bus alone, like the city bus, so it was really bad. I even tried working from home, and she keeps telling me that I should get out of the house more. Well, yeah, my mother's kind of like that still. I talk bad about my mother, but it's actually true. So, I started stealing my father's credit card. I bought it Wizard 101 membership, uh, MSP VIP for me, a couple diamond packs. I bought one VIP thing for Emma for one of her accounts. It didn't actually, because at that time, actually, that's when Star VIP came up. And I was like, oh, cool, it's Star. You know, you get a little more Star coins, a little more diamonds. I'll, I'll ask, you know, my dad. He kept saying no. So then, you know, after a while, I was getting kind of desperate for money, and I was actually getting obsessed with this game. I kept going on it. I kept, you know, whatever. By the way, this isn't going to be edited that much. Just a couple of lines. You know, like a couple little phrases and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's part of it. Uh, so, after a while, that, that that's more personal. That'll be in my whole life story later when I think about making it whenever. So, yeah. So, I got issues with him, and then he got issues with me. And we're made up now. We're okay with it. He doesn't mind with me anymore. He's... But ever after I bought the last VIP and it just ran out, this account started to... I remember this day. It was back then when MSP would email the linked email what the new password would be. You know, if you change the password, it would say, your password is ABC123, did you change this? If you did not change it, please click this link to reset your password. And I kept doing it. But this hacker, this hacker, Green Poison, no matter how many times I change the password, I've changed it to super complicated ones. I mixed up letters and words and capitalizations and special characters that they allowed me to put on. And no matter what the heck I did, she'd always get it. Then she made a fake account of me. Now, I don't, now it's a delete, known as deleted user right now, because I think this account was deleted from MSP being, you know, oh, you're inactive for blah, blah, blah amount of months. We're going to delete your account. They've been doing that. I've, I've figured this out. So I've been trying to be active on all my accounts right now. So I deleted him. I mean, I, and she put me on full gift limit too. She only gifted him. Here's some of the stuff that I spent money on. Oh, well, this is actually, this is just him gifting it back to me. But she put me on full gift limit. And this is all the stuff I got back. Because I had a friend, a different person. Her name is Strawberry. Because that was her, you know, username. Her, her username was like Strawberry and Money or something. And she doesn't play anymore. 
So she talked to him and says, you know, I my friend has photo proof of you taking the stuff and it being gifted to you and has photo proof of the hacker, you can get your account locked out and given to him, meaning if you don't do it. You know, she sent me these messages. Man, she was bad. But um, this was actually way after. I remember this day of me getting hacked. I was homeschooled at the time. And that uh, that's personal the reason why. I'll talk about it some other time. But... I was homeschooled and I did not have my own computer. I still use this computer. I got an email notification on my tablet saying, um, Movie Star Planet, um, your password has been changed. If I logged into the old email that the account was linked to, I could show you all the password changes emails, but it's like going to take me forever because I don't use that email anymore. Sorry, I need to get a drink. Mm. Yeah, throat's getting dry. But that's what I'm saying. So it kept getting changed with from Green Poison. Then it told me, please click this link to confirm this email change. And it gave me the email meaning. And it still does this, by the way. I know it. So I copied and pasted the email, sent them a police report, like a fake one, meaning I made it up, and scared the complete crap out of them. Well, they didn't stop. They said, dude, I'm not hacking your account anymore. That's somebody else now. And I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, right. Why is the email being sent? He's like, I'm not even a hacker. Somebody just gave me your password, and you kept trying to get it back. They made the worst statuses. My friends I was on there with, which I don't even know anymore. Some of them don't even play now, and I can't get a hold of them. Um, would get these messages that were, like, really inappropriate and, like, something I would never say. Back then, I was a little bit... I was more mature, I would say, or kind of, like, more, like, careful and not as childish I am, as I am now. Like, I was really not that bad of a person. I am not bad at all, but it's like, you could, if you cross me, you get hit, you get hurt. But, yeah, no, they would send these messages, and then between this person and another person, and I can kind of tell you where the look is, because they made a look on that person, now that person's deleted because they kept saying, I'm getting hacked, I'll go on my backup. They hacked all my accounts. My backup, I had a, I had two backups, I had a, an account I was about to give away to somebody. I had so many, so... They hacked every single account, and I don't know how they did it. And all the passwords were different, so... After a while, I just said let me delete the account and back then that was at the time where msp would um not send you an email saying to click the link to confirm to delete this account so yeah the account is gone for good i can't get it back the main reason is is that the vips were bought and my father's email that it was linked to, like, the first set of VIP meeting, because that's the only traceable receipt I have of VIP, is, um, the email got messed up somehow. It was linked to a master email, and back then, that was kind of around the time where my mother was taking everything, and that was between her and my father, and deleting it and I think it was one of them deleted that master email and screwed up everybody's email so that email's gone I have no way to access it I have no way to access that receipt so this account is gone for good I mean I've already tried to find the email the emails I even asked my father on his current email because I thought that his um, current email he uses now would have it and he even let me search on it with you know him watching and I couldn't find it. I could not find the email to the receipt. If I did, I would have been like, I take this screenshot and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to get my another account back. Nothing. So that account is completely gone for good. Unless you have some way to work around MSP's thing, there is no way to get it back now. And I'm really upset because this was a good account. And, oh, sorry. Um, so... Yeah, that's mainly the big story that happened. And that's kind of how I started playing MSP. A friend named Emma would, you know, 
she told me about the game. We played together a lot. Now she doesn't play anymore, and I don't talk to her much. So, yeah, that's mainly my whole story of the game. I don't even think you guys really cared as much, but... Yeah, and then we come back to this account, meaning I just made this account, you know, like, after I got hacked, I was like, you know, I'm just going to delete it. Now, you can only delete um, things from the computer, actually. I try it even with the new app updates. You can't um, delete accounts from the app, so you have to go on a computer or Puffin, meaning. But back then, I didn't know if Puffin was invented, so I had to quickly get on the computer and tell my dad I need to get, you know, rid of one of my accounts. And they're like, why is that? Because it keeps getting hacked, and they keep, like, sending really bad messages, and that's not me meaning. So he's like, okay. You know, he was understanding with that. He said, because they could find out my email somehow, and then I can get, you know, really, like, bad things attached to me. So I deleted that account, and it's gone for good. Back then, you weren't allowed to say hacked either, so everyone said packed. That's why that, uh, you, that, uh, thing says packed. This might not go up today, by the way. I do have a lot of stuff I have to do, so. Um, but that's mainly the big thing. Then I made this account, and I do have a, if you look on my very, 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 very old looks, you'll see my very first outfit I made on MSP. And the first person I messaged was an old friend that I kept saying, I'm deleting this account, I gotta go. Um, and I said, you know, I'm making it with the same exact user, because once you delete the account, the user is free to use. So the second I deleted it, I made this account with the same user. So, yeah. So it was goodbye, awesome epic, hello, awesome epic again. So that is mainly the story, and I never heard from the hacker again. That one guy, like I told you, on this new account, um, that, that guy who faked being me would really actually kind of torment me a little and kind of, you know, mess with me. But then he finally gave me my, some of my stuff. He still has a bunch of it left and he's not, a, he's not around. I, he was actually the first guy that got the account. I think that green poison person took, gave it to that person and then I'm like, this is my stuff, what the hell? And he's like, I just got the account from somebody. And I'm like, well, that's my username that I used on my old account. And I, you know, and he's like, I don't know. And it's like, who gave it to you? I'm just wondering, because that person hacked me and gave you all my stuff. And they're like, I can't say the name. Um, you know, they. I think they had age restrictions. I think there's a new thing on MSP that actually was there back then where you couldn't say certain words due to your age. So they said, um, I can go to their room to show you. So I said, sure, take, you know, go there and then invite me. So they did. And then after, I was like, thank you for letting me know. He's like, yeah, this is their room. Um, that's, you know, because you can find out their years and name from their room. So I spam reported, they got locked out, and then they came back. But I never heard from them since. And then the person that's faking as me messaged me about a couple of years ago saying, do you really, uh, did you really thought you could lock me out? Devil face. I'm guessing Green Poison got the account back. So I said, you can't get me this time. I will always find a way back to this world, meaning MSP, and you will never stop me. And they said, we'll see about that. And I said, good luck. Never hacked me. I never got hacked again since, except for, you know, about a month ago I was hacked. But it wasn't by Green Poison, it was by somebody else. And I still don't know who the exact hacker is, but I, do, I did have some leads. If you want to know that one, I'll link that video in the description below if I can find it, meaning. So, it's called I Might Have Found My Hacker. Yeah, that's, um, that's the name or I, I found I think I found my hacker or I found my hacker like it's something to do with I might and found and hacker meaning you know it's like it has something with I found and my and hacker meaning something so it's somewhere in there it's not too old but yeah that's mainly the story of how I started MSP starting at 13 years old and I'm 21 right now yeah. Played this game for 
18 years, uh, I mean, 8 years, not 18, oh my god, that's so stupid. I've been playing this game for 8 years now, and I still love it. The only reason I'm playing MSP now is because, one, I have a lot of people who support me here on this game. Two, I have, I really don't have literally anything else sometimes. Like, I, I have work, but then it's like, what do I do when I'm not working? I could play Wizard 101 or do other stuff, but I mean, like, I mostly go on here to talk to you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm also going on here to talk to you guys. I've been trying to make more videos, um, trying to make a movie series. I have, actually have a whole crap ton of them to make. Um, and, yes, please be on the lookout. Actually, I am making a new series for YouTube only. If you want to be in it, message me. Um, it's not that tightest, draggiest thing, because that actually is now going to be put on a complete hold. I am really sorry to the friends who actually really loved that game, that movie, The Tightest, Draggiest, The Legend Returns. I am at a major writer's block with the script. A ten-year-old story, and I'm at a writer's block. So, it's going to be a new one, and it, I'm, I'm going to tell you this, I'm really bad at making reality or, like, school scenes without having to twist it with some sort of fantasy. So, it's going to be like that, okay? So, message me if you want to be in the series, comment in it, but please put your user, and it's only going to be on the USA server because my Turkish server account does not have VIP anymore. Another thing, I do, I did, I do finally have a business email. I've been having it. I just finally put it out to a real business email. That is for YouTube only. You can send me fan art, fan mail, fan letters. Tell me how much you guys love me. You, you can even tell me any suggestions or whatever. I also have a um disc, a YouTube Discord server. It's called the Human Squad server. That where you can put game suggestions and other stuff. That's just in the link to the description. I'm trying to like kind of remember everything that I wanted to give you guys. Um, give me cookies because I really actually need them. I'm actually I ate all the other cookies and I uh, gave some to some friends. <laughs> so yeah, the bird says bye. He's actually silent right now, so that's his way of saying goodbye to you guys, and he'll miss you. He's sitting in his house, just chilling. I did get a new couch. I am actually making more videos as we speak. I'm going to start recording again. And I actually am slowly but surely going to power wash the heck out of this computer to where, um, how would I say it? It's factory reset. My new computer is called, says power wash, but you reset the factory defaults. And I feel like I need to do that with this computer because there's a bunch of stuff on here that I can't get rid of. Like, I can get rid of it. But it still won't, like, take a, it will, it still will have too much space. That's why you're on my Google Cloud right now, looking at these photos, because of the space. It won't let me do any of that. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this, you know, gave you some sort of advice, um... I know part of the reason how Green Poison found me, but I don't know if it's a real reason. You know them MSP uh, cheats where you can get free star coins, like those cheat websites? When I first started playing MSP, I didn't know how they worked. Like, I didn't know that they can actually hack you. Because, you know, I was, I was very new to the game. So, I went on those. So, I think that's how Green Poison found me. But what was weird is those um those account those cheat engines that I used never asked you for your password. They just asked you for your username and um your server and then what kind of desktop you use. Like they didn't ask you for anything else. So please stay away from those. I'm gonna tell you this as a person myself, or as someone who knows this kind of stuff, stay away from unprotected websites. I'm gonna give you a tip. Right here, where it has this little lock, if this ha doesn't have a lock, and it has a little eye, like the eye card section, you know, in certain videos, like that little eye, that means that this website is not protected. Please make sure that if you're on a website, please make sure it has the little lock, as because then you'll know that your email, your passwords, and 
whatever accounts are safe on that website, meaning they won't share it with anyone. Unless you share it personally, meaning with someone. But yes, that's a very big tip that I've learned the hard way. But thank you so much for watching. I gotta take another drink. One sec. I hope the sound is working. Um, I'm sorry, actually, if the sound is going to sound a little choppy. I am speaking very loud because I don't know how this mic is working. So if the sound is sound, I'm if the sound sound is very choppy. Please let me know in the comments. I am looking for a headset to wear when I record on my computer, but right now they're very expensive and I can't afford one. And I'd also want one for my Xbox because I am starting to think of recording on my Xbox. And that way, and I'm having issues with the recording on my Xbox, so you might get some very crappy videos from the Xbox. But that's because I need to find the proper way to record, you know, from it. So, stay awesome and epic. Um... Have a nice day. Uh, don't forget to like, comment um, how much you care about me. I don't know. I might do, I might start doing these questions of the day thing, where you answer it in the comments. Like for one, here let's do it. Let's start. Let's do it starting now. Question of the day. Answer it in the comments. What are you? What's your favorite part about fall? Like the season, meaning the season fall. My favorite part. My two favorite because I can't just choose one. And I'm stuck between these two. My two favorite parts about fall is Halloween, because Halloween is my most favorite holiday of all time, and spending time with family on Thanksgiving. And you all know I like to cook, so, but I mean, that's spending time with my family on Thanksgiving. And back then, when I was little, I used to see my relatives up north that I very rarely see now. So it was very nice for me, and I still, I still miss them, but... Family comes and goes. You all are my human fam, my human squad. Um, I'm trying to think of like a thing to go Kai out or like. Oh wait, Kai the messed up but awesome dragons out. See ya. So cringy. I love it.